Hey folks, Justin here. Um, last week on stream, uh, somebody asked about Ultra Monk, a deck that I uh, first ran into on a ladder about uh, almost two years ago now. Maricon, game developer extraordinaire, uh, one of the you know guys who created Legends was uh, was rocking Ultra Monk. I recorded it. It was a great video. Good times, and, and so I just I became obsessed with playing Ultra Monk myself. And then nobody played it for a really long time. So, here it is, Ultramonk. There's not a lot of new stuff here. <clears throat> um, as far as cards from the latest set go, in fact, actually nothing. So have fun. <laughs> no, it works like this, right? There's two copies of Altar of Despair. Oh, I guess we have Gentleman Jim Stacy. Altar of Despair runs up creatures one, two, three every turn. You sacrifice a creature to pull one that costs, uh, you know, the next tick on the thing out of your deck. So you have a lot of cards with powerful summon abilities or reliable uh, things, um, guards, a lot of guards. And then you have a Divine Fervor, a couple of Praetorian Commanders, just to sort of snowball, overwhelm your opponent. And then some, of course, great late game value cards, General Jim. Uh, Eclipse Baroness, Tazcad, one Manticore, one Morak, one Parthenax that you pull out if your altar gets that far in some kind of control mage matchup usually is when that's going to happen. And then you have a whole bunch of anti-aggro tools because altar lets you... Altar really helps the control and, and mid-range matchups. So what you have is a bunch of executes and cheap stuff to combat uh, more aggressive strategies. I think it's a lot of fun. It's pretty consistent, especially because altar adds a level of consistency to how it plays. And it's the kind of deck that I think you could easily hit Legend with. So we're going to hop on into a game and uh, see how it goes. Howdy folks, Justin here. Today we are hopping on the ladder with Alter Monk. Uh, a, the classic Monk deck. I guess. <laughs> Alter Monk is a deck that people have been playing since... Uh, since the Madhouse Collection came out uh, in December of 2016, I think. So it's been a while. Our opponent is Chris Sick, the Persistent. Uh, we have the ring, so I'm going to go ahead and keep Hive Defender. Chris Sick is on Rhetoran. Anasi is pretty good against any deck running Rhetoran 4-runner. Let's rock and roll. Alright, a couple Fighters Field Recruits is pretty good. So we're actually really hoping it's aggro and not uh, Conscription. The odds of that being the case are diminishing rapidly. All right. Uh, might have a Grizzly Gourmet, a Dark Guardian that they're not opposing this with. Uh, I think this is just too good of a Grizzly Gourmet target, so I'm going to go ahead and hit that. Now, Alter decks, because they run um, <clears throat> creatures along all the casting costs, can just curve out sometimes. That's a thing they can do. From the 26, a drop down a Hive Defender. They try to protect this with a guard. We Anasi. It's a low value Anasi at that point, but it's an Anasi. I have cat fur on my tongue. Because I'm a classy bitch. Uh. I'm going to go ahead and swing and hit a Prophecy. A little disappointing. A Javelin. Okay. Soldiers. Throw a Praetorian Commander down. <clears throat> uh, Praetorian Commander, of course, we're not a Conscription deck. Uh, wow, cast in the time. So this is just Conscription. They're just, they just don't have any cards worth playing. And let's just get altered. There's a 2 2 Ungolim, and hopefully. Hopefully, we're going to be able to keep this around for a little while. We might have an Edict. This deck usually doesn't run Shadow Fen Priest. Pure Blood Elder. Okay. 
Maybe I actually don't have any idea what's going on. For the black Good swing. Whatever draw a card. Here. Perfect. I'll try to draw their fire. Get rid of only one. Draw more cards. Dawnbreaker. That is a vampire. Flex. Flex. Oh, look at them. Look at them guns. Them vampire slaying guns. Alright, this is a red ramp. Hell yeah. Sure, sure, sure. So we'll strap up the uh, Thieves Guild recruit. Swing him into that. Can play this too. My scale. Let's get shadow. our three drop first. There we go. Just man, just having the one Praetorian commander. It's amazing. Oh, destroying undead has never felt so epic. All right, that was a hell of a turn for for the altar monk crowd. Now my opponent's at twelve magicka. Could drop an Odaving here, leave me with a six one. Could drop a lot of really dangerous stuff actually. Uh, Manticore. Okay. Still coming at, still coming hot for eight. Ravenous hunger. So we'll steal the drain with a Nasi just for the. The hell of it. Hardly a challenge. Feel the power of the force. Anasi finds it useful to use her enemies against them. Grab ourselves a hive defender. If I fall, the hist will return. Put more stuff, more pressure on the board, and we have Marak available next turn. This is a pretty good game. Pretty good altar game. Crusader's Assault. Sure. Oh. Rough beats, man. Rough beats. Uh, unstoppable Rage doesn't matter to me. <clears throat> because we uh, stole Drain. Because I too play Redder and Ramp. <laughs> See if they can't hit a prophecy here. I know a shortcut. I'll clear it. Sure. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Alter Monk, 2018. 